there everyone, it's Jeffrey again. Today we're doing another creepypasta story. And today we're reading Ghost Train, the untold story of Timothy. So let's get to it. Have you ever watched Thomas the Tank Engine as a little kid? Then you might have remembered the Ghost Train episode. If you haven't, here's a summary of the plot. Percy tells Thomas a ghost story and Thomas wasn't scared. So when Percy has an accident with lime that makes him all, all silver, and he pretends to be a ghost to scare Thomas, and he did scare him in the end. Sounds kid friendly, right? But there is one morbid thing about it. There is a missing scene at the beginning of the episode that is a little too creepy for little kids to see. If you search the episode on YouTube or something like that, the first thing that will hit you is the opening. If you want to see it, then I'll put the episode up here for you. However, some, some little kids were unlucky enough to see it. I started to watch it with my son. The episode starts out with a bunch of human passengers boarding a new train. He was silver. His model was the same as Thomas, but his face was different. He had round eyes and a broad smile with little wrinkles at the end of his mouth. He had the number zero on him. So this must have been the first train on the railway. When all these passengers got on board, the train steamed away. All steam ahead, Timothy, his driver shouted at him. Sure thing, Timothy replied. It then showed a creepy nighttime view of the dock side. Timothy was speeding through the place like the world was ending. They were going to their first stop. When the driver tried to pull the brakes, it worked, but Timothy kept going. He was going as hard as he can. Timothy, what are you doing? His driver shouted. It shows Timothy's face. He had the most sinister look on his face. It then showed Timothy hang towards a cliff. Timothy, don't. You will kill us all. His driver screamed. It showed Timothy's face again. His eyes were pitch black with red pupils. My son ran over to me crying and grabbing me and looking away from the TV, but I kept watching. Timothy said son, but was so deep and warped at this point that I could not understand what he was saying. It showed the cliff Timothy was heading towards, and he was inches away from the edge, and it cut to the view of other sites of the island of DeSoto. I can remember seeing an abandoned junkyard, a spooky forest, and a view of the moon, but you can still hear the screams of the people on board as they fell to their deaths, as well as Timothy falling to his death as well. It then cuts to the part where the ghost train is on the bridge, which was not cut out. The reason this was removed was because parents complained about it not being kid friendly, and I agree. I searched all over the internet for the missing scene, but I found nothing. Contact me if you have. Well, that was something. Now, I know that this one is a bit shorter because it was a short creepypasta, but hey, you get what you get. Now, the only cliche I find is I... Like, what's with the black with red pupils? I mean, sure, he's a... I don't know if Timothy was a demon train or a ghost train, which he's implied to be. But it said that he acted as a warning to others, according to the show logic. And Timothy, sure, he is the same shape as Thomas, and he's silver with the number zero. That's his true origin. And did you know that Timothy was actually Thomas' brother, according to YouTube user KaneFan701? Yeah, I know. Older brother. Now, I like the good aspects of this, like showing that this was a lost, you know, intro. Now, this intro doesn't really exist in the Thomas universe, it's just a story. So don't think, don't think you can take things seriously, okay? Okay. I hope you like this creepypasta reading, and what creepypasta story you want me to read next? This is Jeffrey Zambruski, and I am out.